Okay, so let's take a look at S2 members content dripping example here. What exactly is content dripping? Uh, that's kind of a funny term, but it's just, it's just a term that describes, just as it's stated here, the gradual pre-scheduled release of premium website content to paying members. So after you've been a network marketer for a while, one of the things that you start to notice is that the more things you can automate, the more time you have throughout the day, throughout the week, to deal with customer service, to deal with your business strategy, uh, to work on the content itself. And so anytime you can automate something, that's a wonderful thing. So the gradual pre-scheduled release of premium content is only possible if you as the site owner have taken the time to collect a pool of premium content and then go in and formulate a set of PHP conditional statements like the one you see here. Okay, now in order to use code like this, these PHP code snippets, inside of a post or a page, you will need this plugin installed, Exec PHP. And then you would just do something along these lines. This utilizes an S2 member API constant that just says if the current user is logged in as a member, which means they're at level one or higher, then we would display this content indicated by this line. Now you could have four or five paragraphs or images or something here. And then beneath that, so everybody would see this. And then beneath that, we have these additional checks that take a look at this additional API constant, which is the one that's relevant to content dripping. This is saying if the current user's registration date, which is how long they've been a member, is greater than or equal to 30, we will display this premium content. So this is where you start dripping content out after they've been a paying member for 30 days, and then after 60 days, and then after 90 days. So what does this actually accomplish? What most site owners uh, fail to see in this example, or a lot of them do, is that this works on a per user basis. So traditionally, if if a member signs up, at the point at which they sign up for a premium website, whenever they sign up, they log in and they have full access under normal conditions to all of the content that's available on the site at that time. Well, when you think about it, that's kind of unfair because if I started my business in 2006, then that means that all of the members that joined up in the year 2006 had access to less than the members did that joined up two years later in 2008 because at that point, my site had had two years to grow and expand its selection of content. So this works two different ways. It, it, it's an attempt to make the release of content to paying members more fair, where a member joins up and then the longer they are a member, the more they receive access to. And then the second thing, the second great benefit to this is that if you're running four or five sites, you can do so you can do that uh, almost on autopilot because if you take the time to set this up, then you won't have to worry about logging back in and updating your members uh, or adding additional content because it's already set up to be released gradually every month that goes by. Now this could be changed. You could do this every two months. It could be every five days, every other day. So there's all sorts of ways that you could set this up. The value of this API constant is what is important here. And this will always indicate the number of days that the, that the paying member has been registered. Okay, so that's content dripping. Let's go ahead and collapse this section. And in the next segment, we're going to cover member profile modifications, which is where a current member would be able to modify their email address, their first name, and so on. So we'll cover that in the very next segment.